Welcome to Avali's View WWCB2 special. We're going to discuss the upcoming uh, Welsh white collar boxing card on the 22nd of March. So I've got Jesse Jones here with me, who was fighting on the card before an unfortunate injury. He'll tell us about that in a second. Got familiar faces, Ryan Davis and Sam Price. So Jesse, you were going to be fighting, but unfortunately injured your, your thumb. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah, basically, but the well in there, broke my thumb. <laughs> How do you manage that? Oh, I, well, <coughs> I was sparring a boy called Lee Fly. I had an head like an October call. <laughs> caught him with a fucking terrible uppercut, and uh, that was that was fucking tight. Like in my Welsh, <laughs> <laughs> Welsh white amateur boxing career. Like. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> will you be looking to come back in July? Yeah, hopefully. But aye. it only takes four to six weeks. So fingers crossed. And fighting Stewart, or would you rather fight someone else? Well, whatever. Whatever, yeah. the winner. Like, not, no, no killer, like. There's <laughs> no, no, nice no Rob Callan, Stone Cold Killer. Don't fight Rob Callan. Right, so we'll, we'll just uh, get into the card in, boys. No particular order. So we'll go with Sean Bowen and Daniel Roberts. They were matched up when they signed up. Um, two friends play football together. How do you see this one going, Sam? Um, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close, but I, I'm going to try to get Spoonies away, well. Why? I think Spoonie will win there. I don't know, he just, he'd be better at boxing, I think. He uh, guards up well, offloads when he needs to. Yeah. I just think he'll uh, he'll win on the night. Be close, though. Right? I think they'll all be close, to, it, to be honest. They're all 50 50s, aren't they? Awesome. Yeah, I'm empty mouth, though. They're off our fence, but I'm hungover, I'm on over, boys. Uh, I can't be asked this, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd probably go, I'd probably go spoon, Spoonie as well. Um, I don't know, I think he's more aggressive. Maybe Sean Bowen's holding back in, in sparring, but I think I think Spoon Spoon will uh, get a decision on the night. Bowen, no, Bowen I, think, off, I think I think I think Bowen's probably as aggressive, but he's just not as powerful. I think yeah, I think Bowen's prob probably the better boxer, technic technically yeah. wise. I think Spoonie just covers up, he's very hard to hit because he's quite short. Yeah. He just puts his guard right up in front of his face. Yeah. And I think a lot of people have struggled actually landing anything clean on him. Yeah, and he, he just walks people down. He just, yeah, he's just relentless. Mm. Bit like Lamsey in the last card, <coughs> relentless. <coughs> but I think Sean, if I don't know, if he can, if he can start to land a few clean, he'd be all right. I think. What, I what think he'll reckon? struggle to do that. Yeah. <coughs> I think, I think he'd be one of the best fights of the night. Think, yeah, because um, they both they got a good crowd coming as well, so there'd be plenty of support yeah. from. Be a lot of banter there too. Yeah, I don't think yeah. either one of them want to lose that fight. No. no. So it's all. I think Sean's quite competitive. They're well, very competitive, and I think Spoonie's pretty competitive as well. So I don't think I think they'll be going till the end. Like. Yeah, it's going to be a close one. I'd probably go Bowen on points. You're going Spoonie on points, right? Spoonie on points. Yeah, I'll go spoon, Spoonie. Spoonie on points. Yeah. Okay. See what I mean? Off about fifty fifties, you know. And that's not fifty fifty. Well, it's it's 20, 20, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Though we're not all agreeing yeah. on the same person. Yeah, yeah. But I think it'd be a good fight from both boys. Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's both, a very good fight. Boys, like, yeah, they've fight. trained hard as well. They're two of the hardest trainers in the gym. I, yeah, I'd say they are. They are the two hardest trainers in the gym. From what I've seen, like. Yeah, they, they haven't missed. They haven't missed. I think the likes like Corey Booth is obviously injured. He was. He was a very hard trainer yourself. But no, they are. They are up there. They are up there. So moving on then. We've got the title fight then, um, which is Gavin Price, who's stepped in for you, yeah. uh, against Stuart Wilkins. What's your thoughts on that one? Yeah, well, if I done taught me against the fight, uh, <laughs> I think it should, have, should be cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a good fight. Two, 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 two boys who do train hard, I mean, um, they put everything into the training. Um, I know Stuart's put in a lot of work, the boy I was going to fight. Yeah. And Gavin, I know... Um, He's got family who are, I think, professional boxers, and I think he wants to do them probably. Yeah, he's so, never been he's never been in the ring before, but you could see on his first session he looked he looked sharp. He looked yeah, he looked like he was going to be good. I think he's really motivated. Yeah, you know, and you can like, see him getting more and more confident every week. Every training session that goes by, he seems to be getting more and more confident. And I think he's when he first took the Stewart fight, I think perhaps he was a bit apprehensive because Stewart's obviously had a few mm. <coughs> fights before, but. He's grown in confidence every, <coughs> every session. I think he's ready for it. I think he think he genuinely believes he can win now. Yeah, definitely. You know, and Stewart believes he can win as well. So Stewart, yeah, they they both. I think Stewart's really put the work in. Yeah. Um, and then I think now Gavin's no knows he's fighting Stewart, who's probably one of the best he's opponents he could get. Mm. 
there's more motivation going into that fight now. So yeah. Um, yeah, vacant title on the line, boys. Uh, should be should be should be very interesting <coughs> fight. Uh, what's your thoughts on price? Um, yeah, still it's probably the best there to be honest. With you, let's be honest. But that Gavin, now you <laughs> now you've dropped out, Jess. <laughs> so, so now you've dropped. Out. <laughs> no, he is. He just he's very clever in the ring. Like no matter who he goes up against. He picks up what what they're good at and he uses it against them straight away. He knows his boxing just yeah. by speaking to me. But that, that, that Gavin, I've never met someone who loves being it and <laughs> loves being in that ring more than him. Mm. He just, he's just in there, you can see him smiling all the way through like he's getting I think he big, loves the big occasion, shots to him and he's just it, got the it. biggest grin on his face. Oh, he just loves it. Like, yeah. I think it's going to be a really good fight. How do you see it going? Um, I'm going to go Stewart on points. Chest, 2-1. I think I think Stewart will just pick him off. Yeah, I think he, I think Stewart on points as well. Yeah, I think Stewart on points, but Gavin will have his moments to through fight like mm. he'll yeah. land feel like. I think, I think Gavin will um, pressure him really well and take bring the best out of Stewart. And I think Stewart with his I think he's got a very good boxing mind. Stewart. Yeah, yeah. When I first I watched him, I I wasn't I wasn't sure on him, but the more I watched his footage. Um, the more I'd see that he know he really knows how to time his shots and, mm. and he is quite a clever clever boy. That's what I was saying about like it, it, yeah. every every opponent he has. He looks like he's not trying in certain occasions and then when he sees a, an a, opportunity, a, a chink, he's not that mm. he's not trying. He's just working out. Yeah, yeah. Where, the out shot, where the gaps are. Where the gaps are. I think yeah, I think um, <clears throat> I think it's going to be a really competitive fight. But I, I can see Stewart maybe being a bit of a better boxer and maybe yeah. maybe edging through on Alan. But big respect to both boys. But Stuart's already said if he does win, he wants to defend the title against you. Nice. So in July. So it's already shout, already shout out to that one. It's been set, yeah. He's set. Oh, it's and he said set, if you're not available, he wants Chris Bristol. Oh, so he's him and I. That's, that's, a, that's a high aim because Bristol is going to be elite uh, Welsh white collar. Yeah. He must not have viewed I'm in the next one. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think, in the next especially one. after your sparring and stuff. Uh, I don't want to talk about that. But yeah, I won't go into that too much. I think the good thing about Stuart is he never gets. Like pull into a brawl. Yeah, and, like, he's always stay calm and clear yeah. shots. Like yeah, yeah. Calm. and the fact I think that one, one might just give him the edge is the fact that he's done three white collar events before. Mm. So well, the crowd won't bother him. Yeah, really he's, he's been in there. He knows what to expect. He knows what to do in there. Where it's, it's, it's going to be all new to Gav. I do think Gav will enjoy it, mm. but I just think it's all new to him. And yeah. so I think he'll come on for it. Um, next fight: Sam Birrell versus Lee Fly. So it was going to be originally Darren Rood versus Lee Fly, but we've now got Sam Birrell was taken in because of a couple of injuries what, what do you think of that one it's um, two big boys two big punches I think it's a, it is a bit of a size difference I know Sam Burrell is, he's got a bit of size yeah he's, he's, he's stocky he's, stocky, not, yeah. he's not he definitely wouldn't be in the same weight category as um, Lee Fly I think Lee Fly is definitely an heavyweight Sam Burrell is heavyweight as well yeah he is now but I think if it was a, if it was a really competitive amateur fight I think Sam Burrell would be an 80 kilo fighter if I had to look at the side, if he go in shape and cut, mm. cut back. yeah, he's in shape. He looks in shape. He is, he no, looks he is like in shape. shape. He was in good shape anyway, but he does look about eighty odd. Kilo. I think he's Whereas a bit more than eighty. I think yeah, he's, he's about 15, 50, 16 six. stone. Is he not? Is he? Yeah, I, I, I put him at fifteen. Stone, yeah. I would say, fifteen stone. Is he? Really? Oh, I, I, we'll I, find I out was Friday. 14, I thought he was about fourteen. Or he's a bit bigger. He looks like. Ah, oh, maybe I am not a good looker. But he's a big boy. I. I yeah, some people well. don't only... look as heavy as they are, like you don't look as heavy as you are. Yeah. Oh, I'm not right. I'm not bad. It's all muscle back. <laughs> all, he's all big man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I've seen Sam, he hasn't done, done much sparring. I watch him, I watch him spar. But he's, um, he's powerful. Shavers. Oh, that was early days, early, early days. Early days, that's the only bit of footage I've seen on him. Hmm. Shaver yeah. sent it to me and um, he does look. He does look all right. He's not afraid of a slap. No, he's I mean. not. And, he's, and, he, and he does like to get into mm. he does like to throw I think Lee, punches. Lee likes to box as well. Even though he's a big guy, he likes he to try and box. He doesn't, want, he doesn't look to knock you out. No, and he, he doesn't look... He, I don't think he enjoys getting into a brawl either. He I definitely improved though. He's improved massively, <clears throat> Lee, yeah. yeah. But I don't, I don't think... He, he doesn't want to go in there and get involved in a brawl. Well, no, he doesn't I, need to, or does he? He pick I, him off the job. Like. Yeah, when I spot that Lee, I just felt... Yeah. When you're fighting somebody that's like when he is, he is over 100 kilo and he, he's a big guy, he's a big yeah, guy, he's tall when, as well. When, when he's he's when not in bad shape though, to be and fair. when he pressures you, it, it zaps out of it when you're fighting somebody a little bit smaller. Like, mm. you'll feel that for definitely for three rounds. He might, he might fade a little bit, Lee, yeah, um, towards the end. Um, when I sparred him, we both went through a killer session and he was still. Come in with the odd shot, and yeah, he was, he was he was still in it. So, I think a fresh, how many rounds did you do? Uh, 
Two. He's one of the first done three Wasn't it two three minute rounds or two three minute rounds. So that's that's why he'd be on that. That's years. exactly the same as the fight, isn't it? So it's um yeah, I think it's I think it's a good fight, but I I, I think I think Sam Brown would be like quite surprised by the size the size pressure. Yeah. The pressure of I'm fighting somebody that big, but I can see me fly um oh no, I can see Sam maybe getting more shots in. Landing more. Landing a bit more. If he's got the... The stamina to go three. Yeah. And as well, it's the confidence of fighting somebody that size as well. Mm. Can, um, he might go in there and go, fuck it, he's big. And when yeah. he catches him, he might crumble. Yeah. But it's, but by, by the spell looks for him, I don't think he will. I think he should he should fight. He will fight. And I think Lee will, will put on a good, good show. So, so who are you going for? What's your result? I'll go with... I think it's going to be a really, really close one. Really, really 50 There's a lot of close fights in that. I, I know they're two... Or totally different styles and totally different sizes, but I think it's quite 50 55. But I can see maybe Sam come away with a very close decision. Not mm. you, Sam, not Sam, Sam, Sam. <laughs> Sam, no, Sam. Sam, 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 once too many, the ref's going to come in and say, that's enough. But he was fighting Johnny Jones, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody's done it again since then. Mm. So, that's, that's why, yeah. Is that think, when he gets tired, look? I think, yeah. Well, he's, yeah I think it's just thinking when he gets involved in brawl, I don't think. I think he's come on a bit the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, and he does it with I think with he needs to himself. learn to clinch up as well, because he doesn't clinch up a lot. I just think he as he gets tired, as he's both getting tired, if Sam's throwing... He just needs to work a job a lot, because he's tall, do not he? Keep him, keep him away. Doesn't his he? presence be... is going to be intimidating for Sam, surely. Yeah, but I just think Sam. I, I, I it's a very close fight. I, I could be <coughs> the market, but I'm going to go outside chance. Sam will stop it. I'm going to go. What are you, Sam? I, I haven't seen a lot of Sam spot. I'll be honest. Mm. I, don't, I don't actually think I've seen him spot. Should we, should we skip this one, Sam? I've seen him. <laughs> no, seen the thing is, that's, that's what I mean. But I think Lee have come on a bit the last couple of weeks. Like he's worked, mm. on, he's worked on a lot on what he was doing wrong. Mm. But uh, I don't think I can call who's going to win it because I haven't seen Sam yeah, fight. I, seen that I can't call that one. Yeah. Right? I think Lee Fly will beat him if he throws his shots with confidence because if he don't, then I think he's going to get clipped. But I think he'll get a decision if he throws with confidence. Right. Okay. So, Robert Powell uh, against... The, well, this was a fight that was only made this morning, actually. Um, Johnny Chappell come down the gym. He sent me a message, a video of him the other day. Exciting stuff. Uh, he said, because um, I, I didn't want to put him in there with Rob, because I knew he hadn't fought for a long, long time, Johnny Chappell. Yeah, yeah. So I thought, Rob is a good fighter, very mm. good. I thought, oh, I don't really want to be putting Johnny in there and feeding him to the and, fucking and Lions. You know what I mean? No experience yeah. so late on. Yeah. yeah, and it's only two and a half weeks out. But then Johnny sent me a video the other day uh, saying, stop giving Rob an easy fight, let me have him. Um, and I, yeah, so I said, all right, okay, come down to the gym Sunday. Is that on social media? Or? No, no, no. no. Oh. Private. Yeah, he said, private, private video. Private yeah. video. Private yeah. Can yeah. I share it? No, no, no. He said, come down to the gym. I said, come down to the gym Sunday, we'll have a look. And he came down this morning and he said, <coughs> straight away, I, 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 only, I only watched a minute of him and I said, that I'll fight to me. Oh, sparring? Yeah, right? sparring, yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So, and I knew straight away he was good enough to take on Rob. Like, Is it? Whether, whether he'd be good enough to beat Rob. I don't know because I've only seen him spar a couple of couple of rounds. You know I mean, yeah. but yeah, he'll be a very how close many, fight. How many rounds do you have? About six overall. Just really? kept on. Yeah, he done done two or three. Had a break coming. Then yeah, so his fitness is still up anyway. Yeah, he's very fit. Yeah. Very fit. Oh, very so. And he went in with his brother after he'd done about five rounds. And obviously, Sean's a lot heavier, and he struggled then with him because because of his weight. Sean was leaning on him, and he, he was mm. struggling to push him away. Rob's Rob's his own weight. He's not going to have that problem. No. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've seen him today, and I think he moves his head so well, dodging, like, do, dodging jabs, slipping jabs. I think Rob is very good at pressure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he shows a lot of punches. He's constant, uh, and he's, he doubles he up on a jab all the time, doesn't he? It's going to be hard for uh, Johnny to move his head and try and fight some other guy. He's going to have to try and use footwork all the time yeah. to get away from him. I'm going I'm to go Johnny on points. Wow, well, big call, that. Yeah, I, so I see him today, and I was really impressed. I was. Mm. So well, obviously his confidence is up if he signed a video like that. Yeah. So you you obviously haven't seen him, but you've no, seen Rob. So. Again, I couldn't call it. I haven't seen both, but Rob's very good. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. he's gonna have to come there. When I when I feel do something on two special. Weeks this as yeah, well, he's gonna have to do know, something special is. to beat them. Hundred yeah. um, percent. I think he's had a few 
fights before, do you mean? And Una, Rob, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's going. I think he wants to progress to do more as well. Yeah, he does. Looks, from what I viewed off uh, Luke Jones, and a few yeah, guys. he does. But, um, yeah, I think um, I think Rob is definitely one of the best, eh? if not the best, possibly. Well, top five hundred percent, top yeah, three, yeah. probably top he's, three, yeah, top um, three or four anyway. Yeah. Pressure he puts on people in sparring is brilliant to watch. Like, and um, I, yeah, obviously I can't call the fight, but can, if I Johnny is is sharp. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a brilliant, brilliant fight. I'm glad it's picked up like that. It'd be nice to see a fight like that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be good. Another, yeah. That's another big fight, that is. Yeah, yeah. Just by the sounds of it, I haven't seen much on John. I haven't seen anything on John. But mm. no, he was good. I didn't get any footage there. Either. I didn't record my batteries low, so I didn't record anything. But no, I, I was very impressed. But like I said, within a minute, I knew that I, I was happy to make that fight happen, and and it would be a good fight. So right, next up, in boys, we got the two fights <coughs> that have just filmed before the bell. Rob Callan and Davzi Bandana Man Matthews. The Dragon. So it was uh, both guys seemed very confident, didn't they? Yeah. Filming that, I think. Um, Especially the old Machida. <laughs> yeah, Rob Callan was Callan. the Stone Cold Killer. Was uh, no age, but uh, was very confident. Uh, Davzi give it give as good as he got. Mine, I thought. You know. Yeah, definitely. Um, so how do you see it going? I mean, Davzi's long, rangy. I've seen Davzi spar a few rounds, but I've not seen anything on Rob, old, old Rob Callan. Like, um, not seen his footage. Um, he moves quite quite well, Rob. Does he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Moves quite well. Is that his footwork keeps doing spins all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's that needs to stop. Yeah. <laughs> does he do spins? Yeah, yeah. Just as a joke, or? 360. No, I don't know. Spins. Yeah, Tony Oak is 360. Just goes, oh, love a cheeky spin. I said, well, the ref's not going to love First it. of all, he, <laughs> he, didn't really, he didn't really know that he couldn't do it, first of all. Yeah. yeah. Off the tr- oh, I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know much about it, uh, but off the trash talk, why is um, it's going to be a uh, draw? <laughs> but what, both, both not turn up or yeah, yeah. <laughs> equally as incredible <laughs> <laughs> no um, I don't know I just think if that was he, he he's got a massive advantage of having the height and the reach of me because he can he could literally he's long as fuck he could just stand there and, and as he said earlier hold old Rob said we want to have the with the other so I think if that he uses the jab well then I think he, he probably beats Rob on points, but I think when Davzi gets tired, he drops his um, God, yeah, he drops did, his hands. I did say this to him last that's week. That's when he could start getting clipped. And, I think Rob's think, a perfect opponent for him because he's not going to stand there and get jabbed. He's going to come inside. He's going to be fucking moving everywhere. Yeah, he got really yeah. Him, yeah. He doesn't stop moving. Okay. So that's, I think he's perfect yeah. for him. It's going to be a good fight. I think could go either way. I couldn't. Even, I couldn't call that a minute. Well, that if if that, if Davzi doesn't use his jab or. He, he's gonna struggle. He's got to he's use, like, use his strength against. No, all, all he's got is just gonna keep him away. He's yeah. not gonna do it all the time, but uh, if he doesn't, he's gonna struggle. If like, he does it for most of the fight. He's gonna win on points, and he so. Mm. So, mm. so close fight. <coughs> um, next one, two boys that, well, Dan Owen hasn't trained a lot. Um, Joe Powell has trained when he can. He's afternoons every other week. I've seen, so quite, I've seen him a lot, a lot at the start. Joe Powell. Mm. He's, he, was, he was there last week. Um, when he's not afternoons, he is there. To be fair to him, but Dan Owen, I, I think I've seen him spar once. I don't think, I, yeah, I don't think I've seen him again. But he's he was out last night. Ahmed and Tavon, both of them. Are, both, both of them. Are both, they? both of them. Are they? Yeah, they're different. Dunk, both steaming. Yeah. Um, he's just a draw, Jess. But both <laughs> both are very confident. Like this is crazy, and both are very confident. So really? I th- for me, I think I think Joe Powell. Him, Joe's come on a lot. Yeah, from he's, the start. he's been working. He's, he's put the hours yeah. in, and, that, and that's the he, reason I think he wins. He's one of those people as well. That listens. Yeah. When you say something to, to him, he, you know, you see him go to the bag and he'll try and work on whatever you just told him to do. Like, yeah, yeah. He's come on leaps and bounds from the beginning. Well, I've like, well, seen a, um, Joe at the start. He, yeah, he had really good work rate, and um, you could, you could tell he's taking serious. He's got his gun machined in, in the bags and you know, working on his breathing. Working yeah. on his breathing yeah. and you know, breathing is everything. Of course, you write that up, man. If you're not breathing, you've definitely lost. If you don't want it as bad as you want to breathe, ET. <laughs> <laughs> never gonna make it, you right? Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going for? Joe Power win unanimous. Only because I haven't seen anything. That- yeah. I've only seen Joe, but I can't pitch. remember who Dan st- sparred with. Stoppage. Joe Powell stoppage. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you, I don't know if you got the power to stop him, but I could be tired. Dan could get tired. You think he have? I think he's got brilliant power. Yeah. I must have missed that a bit in training, but. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> <laughs> You're laughing at your bad practice. Uh, okay, 
Det är er liksom en kamera det looks like well. <laughs> right. Um, another fight on him that actually splits opinion on his table. Anthony Davis versus Samuel Akin 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 Toy. So uh, I I I've seen I've seen, I've seen it them both spa. Yeah. And they both Ever been in with both of them? No, I've not been in like that. No, I'm new? No, no, I'm like that. Um thought you done a round with Sam. I thought you done a round with Sam, no. No, no, I haven't. Uh-huh. I Unfortunately didn't get that privilege. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they, they, I think they both I think they both really tried hard tried hard and from what I've seen they both They both fit every week. They both yeah. Tried, I think if, if you walk like, if you walk in a day one you think you know what's this match up? Uh, exactly. When you, I thought when, that, she, uh, when, you, when you when you announced it to me, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to take it away from from that Anthony. I I, I just thought that it was going to be a slight mismatch due to the, the power, the That's size, mad, and yeah. the explosive. You see him on the bag and the pads the first day, and I just thought, oh. fuck me, you got some power. Mismatch. Like, I said yeah. to you, yeah. 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 let's, let's well, try to split them. it up. I yeah. said, I said, you know, do you want to fight someone else? And they, <laughs> they were both very confident, and they were like, no, nah, he's had this kind of long time. Like, so they're good mates, but yeah. I think this has been build in for a long time yeah. and I think they both think they're going to win and I thought at the time it was probably a mismatch and Sam was heavy favourite now, he, now he's not no I I, I, just, not. I agree totally I think Anthony I has come on front. No, I, no, I still think Sam just because of his power mm. I think in sparring I don't think he's, I don't think I, he's letting his hands go as much as he will on a night I don't think we've seen the, the, the full potential of Sam yet but yeah. I think we've seen but the full Anthony, potential of Anthony he's, he's coming on he's mass, massively improved yeah. massively. he's been in there with people who's, he's who's been big I've seen yeah. and and he keeps coming nobody's, back. nobody's 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 hurting him but I thought the power of Sam would hurt him but I honestly don't mm. I think he's probably sparred with the most most of the fighters there. He's, he's probably got the most rounds in there yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying he sparred with a lot apart from Stewart probably probably yeah and Chapel the only the only reason I'm picking Sam is, is only due to the fact. Well, it's only because I'm going off. Well, I seen they, they both sparred Gavin Price, and I watched Anthony sparring. But this was like a couple of weeks before, so it doesn't really count. But I seen him spar Gavin Price, and again hurt all the time. Hmm. Um, but that was probably due to fatigue as well. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I seen Sam spar Gavin Price, and Sam was looking sharp, and he was looking, he was looking like he was picking his shots. And he was he was looking powerful. Mm. The only reason why I say I say Anthony as well is mm. because I seen um, like uh, Sam and Stewart say fighting, and Stewart was just picking him off with a jab. He was just picking him off with a jab, and Sam's left guard was down the, <coughs> the whole time. I think Anthony will be the same fighter as like Stewart. I think he's just gonna. He's just gonna keep on picking those jabs. Do you not think Sam's, like Sam's gonna let his hands go a bit more though? Then yeah, he's, he's obviously holding back. If, front, he, if he does, do he's gonna get tired quicker. Because you see him on the bag and the power. I'm not saying he's got power. He's, he's, got, he's like, strong. He's one of the most powerful boys. Yeah. He could. Yeah. Let's just let's be honest. He could stop the fight first round if he yeah. if he catches out yeah. with a field big I'm not saying that, but I think they're both friends. I don't think Sam's gonna go at that fight that like that. I don't think he's going to go and try well, knock yeah. his head off. Is this a, well, I think he will. Think he Friends will. or not, they'll obviously have a beer. No, they both have a beer. He's in it to win, miss. Oh, he's he's not come back. If me and you were in it, I'd be trying to take your head off. Yeah, we ate each other, but <laughs> <laughs> we just yeah. hide it really, really well. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they I think they'd both be given everything. I don't think it'd be, oh, he's my mate, I don't want to hit him too hard. I think Sam would take his head off in it. I don't think Sam would. I think Sam would probably try to analyse the first one, see how hard Anthony goes. He might be able to just drop his hand, walk him down. like. And then if Sam thinks they are, he's, p- he's picking up the pressure, then he might pick up the pressure. Mm. I think it's I think it's one of the most interesting fights. Yeah. Of the night. A lot of people are split on that. Yeah. Really? People, yeah. I, th- I thought I thought Sam would have unanimous on yeah, that. Yeah, but no, a lot of people I won't. think Sam would take a loss worse as well, because obviously the crowd are going to look at him and they're going to think, oh, he's obviously feeling yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So I they think look, if he walks up, they'll loss. It's the sort of fight that could literally go either way. Yeah, well. 100%. But I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Sam stoppage. Yeah, I'm going to go Sam decision. I got on team decision. What do you that was Anthony decision? off right under there. I'm losing my voice. No one wants to stop his decision. No, I don't want to stop it. Right, next fight, boys. I don't know if either of you know any of these boys, to be honest. Um, one of them trains in Cardiff, and the other one's only been twice, I think. Connor Williams, Lewis Crisp. Um, so, Lewis Crisp, we, know, we don't know anything about him, but like Carl in the last event, I don't know if he's related to Josh Crisp, I don't know if there's any relation there. But Probably make Dylan, Dylan, Dylan Crisp. Dylan Crispin. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was it related. I think yeah, they are related. What, Josh Crisp and Dylan are related? Or Dylan, or Dylan and Lewis are brothers, yeah. are they? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. But like, like, like in the last one, Carl Taylor done the same as what Lewis is doing now. He trained away. Nobody's seen any footage of him. Yeah. Um, but they'd agreed to fight. And Carl turned up in, and he, he was probably one of the most impressive performances of the night, I thought. Yeah. Carl yeah. Taylor last Dominated event. It all Dominated. depends on who's putting the work in on being closed doors. Well, Connor, like I said, he's only turned up twice. And when I watched him sparring, he sparred Ryan Durbin. 
And oh, he's well, a really skinny one. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. And when he was on the um, offensive, he looked good. He yeah. threw he threw good shots. But when Ryan was catching him, didn't like it, and he and he, tie, he tired really quickly. And I just think if you're not fit enough to go around, um, you know, in sparring now, then you're probably not going to go three on the night. But that's all down to the drain. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, you have yeah. the effort there like other boys have. Yeah. And you're not, you're, is you're he, not going to win. Is he training elsewhere? I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. You, you, you just we'll see on the night, don't right. we? It'd be every night. He just, just hasn't been as often as he could have done down the gym. Well, you, you, you can't put any sort of sort of prediction on that. Can you? No. you can see is. Best of luck, yeah. Like, yeah. So is it another genuine 50 50? No one knows yeah. either, uh, which way he's going to go today. Best of luck, boys. The winner gets nice, lift a nice tea. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next one, then, boys uh, Ryan Durbin <laughs> and Sean Eames put him in that on, day. On day one, that was a 50 50 fight, but since Ryan's been I, in it doing the rounds, I think he'll, he'll beat him. I tell you what, Ryan, Ryan's Ryan impressed me because when he signed up, I, I didn't expect much. I've got to be honest, yeah. didn't expect much from Ryan. I didn't even think he'd see it through. I thought he'd drop out. If I'm honest, but he's impressed me. He, he, when even when he first got in the ring, we had what do you mean with Lance? And I had a little snippet of him with his with his yeah, little slip. Yeah, he's, his potential he's was there. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. all right. I think it's commitment. He's, he's so committed. Yeah. Well, he didn't turn like, up today. Like <laughs> no, but a lot, a lot, a lot of people today. didn't today. Let's be honest. Yeah, At least he had a genuine reason. Well, he, he bought didn't tickets. Know, he, didn't know, he didn't know they were sparring apparently. So but you sparred a Sunday, did you? Yeah. No, nobody knew. But no, you know, he has been in most of the sessions. To be fair to him, and he's put a lot of work in. And when I speak to Sean, no, I, like I, I, I done his interview questions with him for the program. He's very confident. Yeah. Very, very confident. Yeah. Are they friends? Do they know each other? Like a. I, I think they just yeah. didn't they just like at the first session they just thought. Well, I don't know. Ryan was just. I think he was just messaging every fucker. Do you want to fight me? Is it? <laughs> I think that's <laughs> something. Yeah, yeah. Did, Did you get one of those jets? I'm sure. I'm sure he messaged. <laughs> I'm sure he messaged Davsy. <laughs> I'm sure he messaged Davsy. But um. To fight him. Yeah. What a sick bastard. He said. This is what he said about Ryan. He said, uh, I believe Ryan will have the heart in there, so it won't be easy to put him away. However, I just don't see how he can hurt me inside the ring. As long as my cardio holds up, the fight should go how I envision it. So, he, d- he obviously the doesn't think Ryan's got the power to actually hurt him. So, right, yeah. he thinks he's just going to walk Ryan down by the sound of him. They're not big punchers, are they? So, he's not. No. Off, he's not we, don't, we, don't know if Sean can, we don't know if he's a big puncher, Sean, because no, we've not really seen Ryan. him. I don't think both of them are big punches, to be honest, but well, right? I, think it, I think cardio is obviously a bigger factor there, isn't it? Yeah, that, I think it is. I think, I think with I think that, when it could come down to who wants him more on a night, yeah. who's going to dig deep when it's in the third round, they're both tired, who's going to dig deep? And well, we've had a little fight on there, haven't we? We won't say who'll go, but... Did we? Yeah, we had a little fight. Got a wager on it? Oh, yeah, I, done, I had Ryan, yeah. didn't I? No, 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 I had Ryan, but... Did it? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to mention it, <laughs> but I had Ryan. No, I had Ryan. No, you didn't, but... Eddie Hearn is um, most corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> and I, well have, I asked, uh, I asked Sean. Just, uh, just shows, shows a bit of Sean's personality. I said, "Oh, give me your best joke for the program." He said, "Today at the bank, an old lady asked me to help check her balance, so I pushed her over." <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, I wanted to saucy win that. I to win that. That's, that's a brilliant. Cool. Very saucy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so I, 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 Ryan's I, still I, laughing. But how are you calling it, Andrew? Um. My buddy, I gotta stick with my five pound bet. I, I didn't. I honestly thought you had uh, Sean. No, I haven't even seen Sean spa. Why would I put my five on him? <laughs> well, it's a 50 50, so I love Sean. I don't mind. But oh, you've got him, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so I, I'll go Sean. I'll go Ryan there then. I think Sean could be too too rangy for him. I think his jab just thump a rangy. jab in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> New word, but rangy. Well, it's the old word, but it's been used quite well. Huh? Uh, decades. No one else used. decades. <laughs> yeah, as Ryan said, decades, mate. Yeah. Jess, how are you going, bud? How are you going there? To be honest, but I don't know much. Don't know much about Sean. Um, not seen him obviously. No footage. Uh, Ryan seen him on the bags, looking sharp, extremely sharp. Uh, so right, Ryan just got a drink. Um, right, moving on to the next fight, boys. Quite an interesting one again. Gareth Howells versus Luke Jones. I think this is definitely one of my favourite fights. Um, so I think uh, I've sparred Luke Jones and um, definitely give me a really hard spar. And um, I think he's really, I think he's one of the most um, aggressive, athletic, explosive uh, boys here in in his weight, out of his weight category. <coughs> um, and I, I think um, Gareth is very talented as well in terms of his abilities, and he's come on no end. Like, uh, I think it's a really good fight. Um, what do you, what do you think, Josh? I just think if 
if anyone's going to get overawed with the occasion, I think it'd be Luke. Yeah. He, he, he seems to be quite overzealous. He's, he's very, he's very passionate. Mm. He's very, in, he's very, in, you know, he's, I don't know, he's just very passionate. He cares too much about. It, I think so. If anyone is going to crumble on the light, I think it would be Luke. Yeah. But Spoken. saying that. I don't know, in Spar, and he always seems to start slow, and then as the rounds go on, he picks up. So I think I think he'd be finishing strong. Yeah, I think round three, he's going to be piling the pressure on Gareth. Yeah. And it's where the, drop his hands all the time. It's where the Gareth yeah. can, you know, hold him off. Then. I think Gar- I'm going to go. I'm going to go Luke on points. I'd I'd say um, Luke on points as well, but I think Gareth is again one of those ones that's come on so far in the last like two weeks alone. I think they spar yeah. before. I think I seen yeah. him do spar before, and I think Luke was having trouble landing shots. Yeah, he and, was. He's, he's just all, he's That's why I put them together based on that spot. It was a very close spot, mm-hmm. and they both come on since, yeah, so it should yeah, it like should still be. Yeah. I think Luke will try and put the pressure on. I think, Luke, I think he'll, he'll find it quite difficult. So he's he's fast, do you see, Luke? I'll probably. It's, it's an awkward one, but I think Luke probably on a little bit more aggressive aggression. Like, he pick. He, he, but I like Garth, he's good he him. mixes up his shots, Luke's, uh, Luke as well. Yeah. You know, we don't know where, where they're coming from half time. Yeah, that's it. But you've been in there with him, yeah. yeah. He was picking. He, he was showing off. He was down on the that's floor. Again, he, he was throwing those fucking wild punches. I didn't see him coming. Yeah. So he was trying to move out the way. Nah, but you, I, like I think, like I, like I said earlier, he starts quite slow. Like you, you boss the first round against him, couldn't really do anything. But then he seemed to come into his own. And as, as you start to get a bit tired, eh? yeah, he was starting was, to pile it on him. Yeah, right? I mean, the car do the end. Is yeah, just, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to go Luke on points, but I think it'd be very close. Yeah, it's a good fight. Yeah, yeah right? Luke on points as well. I go yeah. Same Luke on points, but I think I think Carl could shock That's everyone. Could, could be the upset of the night. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, Chris Morgan's and Johnny Gray. Oh, he's a taller boy, Chris. Chris, yeah. He's obviously never boxed before, so it's his first time boxing. Mm. He's, yeah. put, he's put a session. Yeah, he hasn't been to as many um, as he, perhaps he could have done. I don't know what he's got. We're coming to him he's got outside of the gym. Obviously, it's difficult. People working full time to make it every week. Um, but when he has been here, he's put the effort in, he's put a shift in. So, yeah. you know, he's come on. Probably haven't done as many rounds mm-hmm. as Johnny. Johnny's done a lot of rounds. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think Johnny might have a bit too much for him. Although Chris is a lot, is naturally a bit bigger than him. He's taller. He's heavier. So I think Johnny again. He's had a few. I think that Johnny's had a few fights before. I think he's, yeah, not, he's, I think he's lost that. two decisions or something. That's what Luke told me. He won, He's had two fights in a while. Well, like white collars, eh? Like either white collar or amateur. Right? I'm assuming it's white collar. White collar, I think. Yeah. I think yeah. he. I think he's had amateur yeah. fights. I gotta pull out my first draw card. First draw that I. No, I think I think Johnny might just have a bit much for him. I think. For me. Just draw. So that fight, it wasn't gonna gonna be um, them two, but due to injuries, they had to had to happen. Um, but I, I do, I just think Johnny a bit too much. I think I don't think he'd stop uh, Chris. But I think well, I think he'd beat him. I think he'd beat him on point. Today. I think he'd stop him. I do. do you, well, you think Johnny will stop Chris? Yeah. Fair enough. Any reason? No. no? Just your opinion. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, I, just, I, I reckon well. I've seen that Chris when he's sparring, he's getting it, and uh, I think Johnny's getting it. <coughs> I can do do it all night, like. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Sean Chapel, Daniel O'Keefe, co-main event, big fight. Big fight. Like, I think. Big fight. It's yeah, could it easily be main event. Though. It could. Yeah, well, it should, is. It's, it's co-main probably event. should have been main event. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. After the watching all. Everybody. But with the title, you want boys are gonna do, do it, it again, again and again, defend yeah, the yeah. title of things. Well, they're only gonna do another one off. Well, I think if then. if they were to have another <coughs> one, they'd probably be better off going amateur, wouldn't they? They both at that yeah, level. At that level. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's gonna probably be a very good fight. Yeah, probably um, call it, yeah. It's hard to get. I've seen a different side there. of Chapel this week uh, in his sparring. He's a bit more, a bit more aggression in there, and he looked a completely different fighter. Yeah. I think I think he might have too much for Daniel. Dan just looks for the, the left hook all the time. But if he catches him with a left hook, it's fucking it's a big left hook. Yeah. So Dan throws a lot of combos. It's Dan's first. Yeah. It's Dan's first. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if Chapel's had any. Oh, I Chapel. Have he? Did he fight years ago? No. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Fair enough. Just, just check. Just check Wikipedia now. It's uh, zero. Uh, Chapel strikes me as the type of guy though that um, he, he'll enjoy the occasion. I think he'll, I think the build up will probably get get to him with all his anxiety and that. But I think when he gets in there. He, yeah, he's been open about his mental health yeah, issues, which is going to be a, you know. But I, I do think like when he's when he's in there, and he's focused. Yeah, on, he's focused so on strong. He is. I think he'll enjoy the occasion, like the, the you know the walk out, all the crowd yeah. cheering in for him, and I think he will love that. I do think he will love that. Yeah. Um, whereas Daniel's a bit more reserved, maybe a bit more shy than 
uh, showed from what I've seen of him. <clears throat> so I don't know if he'll, I don't know if he'll enjoy the occasion as much. Either one could win by stoppage, it. really, couldn't they? They're both big hitters, yeah. really. I think they're both confident boys, isn't they? They know yeah. their abilities, do you know what I mean? I know, I know Dan has been doing work outside of the gym as well, uh, within another gym, doing some sparring there. Um, I don't know what Chapel's been doing. He's been working with Ryan Tro quite a bit. So oh, he's hopefully, still a... Ryan, he's in, he's in Ryan, Ryan's corner. And Ryan's in his corner on the night as well, red corner. So hopefully Ryan's got him fit and ready. We've actually got Ryan here, do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> just walk it on there. Do you want to comment, uh, comment on Chapel's <coughs> condition going into the fight? He's ready, but he's born ready. Yeah, We're both ready for it, actually. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's gonna be a good equal fight, I think. It's mm. a 50 50. We don't know who's gonna win it, won't you? What's your prediction on if you had to pick? I don't know. I wouldn't like to say. If you had to pick, but I'm mm-hmm. gonna back your red corner. I'll go, for, I'll go for Sean because he's in my corner. Yeah, so you think you could give him the edge yeah. and just get I him? I think you could win the stop his third round. Just don't mm-hmm. show him to stop him. Stop it's one of them fights, and then they could, could, be, yeah. could be a stoppage yeah, could be. Fight, they're big boys. I, I'm going to go with Sean just because of the aggression he showed in the ring last week, where it, it fights, looked different. If he, if he circles a lot, mm. he'll tire. Yeah. If he stands, he got a better chance, I think. Mm. Yeah. Trap, trap, so sure. yeah. 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 Let's be honest. Yeah, you don't want to be standing. Not realistically, uh, Daniel's a big hitter. Well, I know they're both big. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, I think Chapel's got a bit more. Daniel got a big left hand. I think if if Chapel watches our left, I don't think Daniel has shown what he can do either fully yet. No, yeah, possibly. possibly So yeah, Yeah. you only seen him. We only seen him spar one round, not three. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm saying. I was saying the John saw when he was in there, he was just throwing combos like Mm. there wasn't this one, one, two, one, two. Victim for Sean in the fight. I mean. It's yeah. going to be a good fight, that. That's going to be a cracking yeah. fight. I'm really Definitely looking forward fight, to that yeah. one. Fair play. Yeah, thanks for having uh, me. Uh, uh, <laughs> you said you're checking the post, bud. I agree. Uh, <laughs> right, so next up is again a fight that was forced through injuries. Um, Hardy versus Darren Rude. So, Rudy. Um, I don't think anyone ever thought he would do something like this. Ever. Well, he said, I remember seeing what we did a co- Facebook yeah. comment on when um, Jada done thing he done. He said, I would never step in there, but I commend yeah. the boys who do. Yeah. And look at him, he's gone on to I think it, go through the training camp. A lot mm. of people, well, I remember Ryan saying, I don't think Rudy's going to get through the training camp. No, no, a lot of people proved, doubted him and he's proven everyone wrong. He's proven probably not only himself. Everyone else. Everyone else yeah. As well. yeah, I think too many uh, Stella's got him in the ring because <laughs> he was going out. He was having, having the market a, tavern, having a he, session at tavern, and, and really calling yeah, everyone out. The tavern really turn it down. Man. <laughs> you know, it can. Shout out to the tavern. Breaks, man. So Rudy was originally going to fight Sean Clark, who you know a bit better than the rest of us. <coughs> um, <Jeez>. uh, <coughs> unfortunately, he got injured. Do you know much about his injury? Like, uh, what? So he was uh, MRI related. Something to do with the knee. The knee, uh, yeah. the knee went under him or something, didn't it? It keeps giving way on him or something. Well, there was a training session going on down the A&A boxing club, but uh, he was playing a bit of rugby at night and um, very unorthodox <laughs> training style. Uh, <laughs> cost him, unfortunately. <coughs> yeah. But he's out. Whether he'll come back in July, Career, I don't know. Career in jeopardy, Jeff? Do you think, well, there's, there's, think there's, there's been whispers sure. from, from a couple of people uh, that he might have thought, he might have signed up expecting Rudy to pull out like like most other people did. Oh, and maybe Rudy didn't. Maybe not the side maybe not to pull out, but to not be as good as maybe not maybe not as competitive as he or thought. Or not as worked be. <coughs> he thought Rudy wouldn't work as hard as he was as, as he has. Um and then when Rudy did the pull promise out. he's actually shown you know? Yeah. But unfortunately, hopefully Sean will sign up again and we can get Rudy and Sean to happen because I think a lot of people are interested in that. Yeah, Obviously Paddy Price. Paddy's had his own injury problems. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we done it. I don't know how we done it. He might have been running in the gym, but Paddy's trained trained like a fucking absolute animal. Um, he's been training outside the gym down now, but open glory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, he, yeah, told, yeah, he, he told, told me when uh, he was on the ladder. Uh, <laughs> Just before that, multiple happened. training sessions. You nearly, you nearly cost him a uh, fight night. <coughs> <coughs> knocked him off his ladder. Oh, that, that wasn't me. That was that was somebody else. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he he seems like a genuine guy. He's, he's a top top guy. He's a top he's guy. A nice guy. Um, really nice guy. It was only a couple of weeks ago, probably two weeks ago. You realised he was boxing the wrong hand. <coughs> That's what I mean. So you have bought. just signed up. They've literally never put on a pair of gloves before. Hmm. And Paddy being one and Rudy being one. So obviously they they're gonna have a fight, but. Was that his game plan? He feels more comfortable boxing as, a, as an orthodox fighter, but he's actually a southpaw. So. Was there a language barrier? Or? 
just didn't, didn't understand. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a. Uh, when, when we swapped him round, then I done a bit of work with him on the pads. When we swapped him round, he was so much better instantly. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. now he's had this niggling foot injury for the last couple of weeks. Um, is he going to pull out, Josh? I don't what's, think what's, so. what's the oh, rumours? He's, 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 he's Irish. He's Irish. He's Irish. They don't. They don't bring out fucking Irish snatch. They don't pull out. No, he's, he's told me, he was like, I'm not pulling out no way, I'm not pulling out no way, so hopefully he's a man of his word, and, he, and he's there on the night to fight Rudy, otherwise Sam be stepping in to fight Rudy. You know Sam Price. Bad, I step in when people need me, but... Sam Price, Rude. Right, so are we going then, Paddy, Rudy, are we... Um... I think um, Paddy's one of the hardest trainers there, he puts his efforts in, man, I have a training session, but I do believe Rudy's just, uh, he's got a little bit of extra, extra power behind his shots, and... Um, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be a little bit too much for Paddy. That's in my opinion. But they're both top fellas, and um, wish him all the best. Yeah, I think I agree. I think Rudy. Um, well, I, t- I see. I see going one or two ways. So either Rudy will stop him early, because I think Rudy will just want to get it done. I don't think he wants to get involved in a in a nervous sort of back and forth. Yeah, back and forth fight. He wants to try and just get the job done, not not get dragged into that. Um, if he goes in swinging like I think he will um, and he does not party out mm. he, he could blow his gas tank he could be absolutely fucked in the corner Paddy could just pick him off and, and, and all oh, yeah as he's tired Rudy could go into the second like a couple of boys did in the last event and say do you know what? I can't go back out I'm, I'm fucked I'm good I'm done yeah, yeah. you know and that, that that's the, that's the way I see it going yeah. if Rudy doesn't stop him early I think Rudy could be in a bit of trouble my right. thing my thing on it uh, Rudy Surprised me how good he actually is. I'll be honest. But you've been in there, haven't you? Don't yeah, know. no, it's not just that. I wasn't expecting him to be like as quick on his feet as he actually is. I was expecting him to be more planted. Mm. But he, he's not. He, his footwork is great. His yeah, movement's great. He's, he's got a good jab. <clears throat> yeah. He's got a very good jab. He doesn't so, use it enough. I don't think the jab. He should use it a bit more. Well, it's there for him to use. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but. Um, I hope Paddy does well on night. He's just such a he's, nice guy. He's a nice he's a top guy. Boy, isn't he? And I think the experience will be great for him. Like in his program, I said, like, why, you know, why did you sign up? And he said, I just wanted to make my kids proud. I think that's what that's I do. What sort of man he is? Do you know what I mean, yeah. I think he'd have a, a, a lot, lot of support courage. on night. I think it was yeah. me who asked him that, but uh, we'll leave it all. Oh, you asked him. You asked him. Right, Jesus Christ. I had to correct all the spelling mistakes. <laughs> It's not my fault. Yeah. A couple of spelling mistakes, man. Copy no, you. Yeah. You were the spelling mistake. Copy the paste today, but he's Irish, man. Not many now. So it's. Josh Arford, Daniel Shepherd. Now we haven't seen anything of Daniel Shepherd. I'm obviously Shepherd. Uh, Team Goose because um, well, he's one of my good friends. Like, and um, but he's been doing he's been doing a lot of smoking in between training sessions. Like, <laughs> I, I, caught, I caught him down um, down Mount. He don't know about this, but he will when he, when he listens to this podcast. Uh, seen him smoking multiple fags down by <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> yeah, at the same time um, down by get door get door get door start there. He, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> so, you got to um, get him in when you can't so, yeah. so. Caught him walking into the gym, smoking a fag, down the bench, smoking fags. I, I, I don't know if he's training or he's <laughs> smoking. just smoking fags. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's, he's one, of the, one of the top fellas. And I'm team, he's a nice team, guy. Team, team Goose all the way. Yeah, like uh, Daniel Shepard, I don't know anything about him. They work together. They obviously had a bit of banter in work. It's supposed to be a fight. Banter, fight yeah. made, made, it was made up and then um, on the show. Yeah. But... I don't think Goose Goose doesn't know anything about what Dan can do. Nobody does. So it could be a case that you come in absolute clueless and Josh knocks him out. Or it could be a case he comes in and he's very well prepared. He's, very he's, well he's prepared. trained on Pebbles, Jimmy. He's been training with Morgan apparently, Morgan Jones. Yeah. Um so if you train with him you think he will be sharp. Yeah. You know. He seems very confident as well when I talk to him. Yeah. He's very confident, so I don't know. It's hard to predict that because you don't know nothing. The guy with a picture with his top off in it. Yeah, I asked for a picture for the program. He sent me one with his top off, shorts on, gloves on, ready for it. He could have gone that night. He was ready to go that night. Was that a private one for you, or was it? Yeah, maybe. (laughs) Get jealous. That's all talk about um, the fatal, the fatal knockdown that happened in sparring a few um, few days ago between one of the one of the all-time favourite greats uh, of the Trinial area when I was uh, Sam Price dropping the goose to the floor. <laughs> off balance. I think I think Josh was, was off balance because there wasn't much power in the hook from Sam so I don't think that would have would have dropped him. He's been hit with much bigger shots than that Josh. Yeah. Um, I think he was just off balance and legs had gone after a leg session and I was like, What's your take on it Sam? I've already said he was, I said straight away he was off balance like I didn't catch him on. It was just one of those ones where it looks bad yeah. when it happens. I, like, I messaged him after it, and I just said to him, like, you, 
If you look at the Ma- many a men have fallen to my right hand, that's what you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could have happened to anyone. <laughs> <in the gym. laughs> I think, I mean, I think that's, just, what, that's what happened in the first event with Lamsey, I think. He was in a shot that dropped him, he was just off balance. I think he what, got with Lamsey and Taylor? Yeah. Oh, in the Taylor. fight, do you yeah. mean? When Taylor dropped Lamsey? Maybe, yeah, he was off balance. Well, Taylor hasn't got much power, so I can't see him being a power shot. like. Wow. Is that going to happen? Is Sam Price versus Tiger Griffith? Sam, Sam Price is starting to call out everybody now, so I don't really know who he wants well, to fight. Well, he called out Budgie. No, John no, Alvarez. they called Budgie. me out first, and I agreed to do either one of them, let's be honest. Because it'll be an easy warm up fight for someone better with either of them. You, want, you, you wanted to fight your brother, and you want to fight. I want to fight my brother, because that's just something everybody wants to do, let's be honest. And then now Jordan Howells. So is, right, if I give you the choice of Jordan Howells or Tyler in July, would you pick? Right now, Budgie. Really? He's. he's Badgie's done a lot more training, mm. so he, there's no excuse for there. Like Tyler from the excuse is up early. So Badgie's had all his training. There's so you, no you think excuse Badgie there. would be the harder fight than that's what you want, is it? Yeah. yeah I think do you think Badgie Tyler want to do it again? I think he just wanted to do it once, and I don't think he wanted to do it again. Yeah, he seems honest. keen. I have to speak to him. He's, he's always like, oh, I'm, I'm best to get back in there. Yeah. just had too much on at the minute. And mm. But if, if Tyler wants to fight, then I'd take Tyler on it all. Either way, because Tyler it, be on the night, so maybe maybe we could make something up there to add in the ring and I don't know. Yeah, you know me, but I don't like I don't like all that publicity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like really to sit good. in the corner, wait for my fight, and then kill him, and then go sit back down. But yeah, wow, fight is you. But like I'm saying, pasty. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the fight would look like it's more Budgie's more my weight, more my height. I think I'd have to work on a lot more things with Tyler because he's a bit taller, like. Yeah, he's got a good job as well. That's what I'm saying, I think. But with me and Badgie, we're the same weight, same height. He's yeah, had all his training, he's... he can't use that as an excuse. Yeah, definitely. So if I lost to him, it'd be, it'd be like I put my hands up and say, oh, fair play, like you beat me. But yeah. I can't see me losing to Badgie, I'll be honest. Really? Yeah, yeah fair enough. Very confident fair enough. Uh, some places. Yeah. yeah, I don't think Badgie would listen to an hour of this to get to that comment. So I think you're safe there that I, he won't you. I, I send him the exact minute. <laughs> 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 and then onto the onto the last fight. So obviously this isn't going to be the main event on the evening. This these are not in any particular order for fight night. In my opinion, we've got the, one of the most intriguing. Fights. Yeah, and it's the one. Of the, it's been the most hyped up. The talked about on Facebook because they, the, the boys are doing it themselves. Chris Gregory versus Johnny Jones. And it's, um, and it's good as well because it's, neither of these boys have been ma- have been matched since the beginning. Most of the, the trash talk and this and that. There's always usually two boys that go with me. No, yeah. This is probably the first time in WWCB history where um, two boys have been matched. It's illustrious, illustrious history. Yeah. That's just um, six month history. But um, <laughs> two, boys, two boys of um, good, com- more very competitive boys who. We've talked to talk the social media. Like. I think Chris Gregory's got a game plan. I think he's trying to get under Johnny's skin. I think I think this is yeah. all part of the plan. Because we all know, <coughs> you know, for anybody who knows of Johnny Jones back in the day, Johnny was one of the fucking legendary boys who go out and have a fucking scrap every weekend. He's one of the tastiest boys around. Yeah, I've like, heard, I've heard, yeah. heard the stories. Do you mean? Yeah. The man is older brother. They fucking used to be fucking one of the hardest boys about. Like, and that's that's just that's just the rumor. Like, and. And you can see that when Johnny, when I sparred Johnny, do you know what I mean? When he, yeah. when he was catching me with them right hands, I felt like I was getting it with fucking bricks. Do you know what I mean? Fucking, yeah. I mean, it's too so hard. He has got a big right hand. Like. But he has, he has had to adapt from street fight to boxing. Yeah. yeah. To and, boxing is different. And fair different fight, do you know what I mean? He's come, he's come from that and he's gone in the ring, do you know what I mean? Mm. You've got to commend mm-hmm. him. And he, and he does he fucking does work hard. Work he's he's, he's a really hard. nice guy. How's his arm? He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's got a niggle in his arm. He's rested. He's left now for a couple of weeks. He yeah. said it's not going to stop me fighting. He said I'll. I hope it doesn't affect him. I'm going to be thrown in. I want to see him. Yeah. 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 If he gets in, if he does, if he has to stop first round or whatever because of it. Because of an injury. He just has yeah. to take his time now in his last couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Just get to the night. I think he swings it. I think he swings it. He swings it too much. I think if he just times his shots, keeps his arm up, his arms down his hip, and he's swinging it so much. He knows he's doing it wrong, but what he is, he gets sucked in. Yeah, and that's why. He gets. He knows he's got that fight mentality. He's just, he's just got that instinct. He's a brawler, and he, and he just goes in looking for the big one. His yeah. thing is right. He gets it, yeah. and it, it, it's not a step back now and let that pass. It's, he, he gets it with a big one. He's thinking, "Fuck you! You're having a big one back." Yeah. And that's, mm. I've, tried, I've tried saying to him for weeps now. So you keep, keep just an keep on calm. Keep, yeah, keep yeah. Just on literally it. take a take, take, take three seconds in your corner. Step, take a breath. But like you said, he, he knows what he's doing wrong. Yeah. It's just hard to adapt in yeah. such a Chris, short Chris, like, Chris now is a very more, much more technical boxer than he. From yeah. what I've seen, I've seen him. I've seen a bit of footage of him sparring uh, Sam. Yeah, um, <coughs> look, 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 look. Look, look. his, his head movement is pretty much non-existent, but 
he, he, and that, that could be what Kat finds him out on the night because yeah. he's not moving his head yeah. and Johnny lands he could he could be out yeah, that's like, what happened that's to me not, I wasn't you know, moving my head yeah I wasn't expecting mm. wasn't expecting mm. a big shot and poof I got caught but I think Chris in the, in the build up now to this he's been like releasing videos of him saying he's going to put Johnny to shame in front of all his friends his family his work colleagues I think he's in a um, he's very joke yeah yeah, yeah I don't think it is. It is. he's having a lot of boys that could say that in a very it's not malicious it's what you want as well you want this sort of build up yeah but I think if there's anyone that to to a person like Johnny, if there's anyone I think he's getting under his skin now, isn't it? Because yeah. it's I constant, think, it's all the time. Yeah. I think with the first one, Johnny was like, "Oh yeah, so whatever." It's all, it's all a bit of banter, yeah. but because it's it's all the time now. And I think the other it's day we seen a, Johnny think, bite I a little Chris bit. He's only doing it as a joke. He's, he's, yeah, he's, 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 but he wants he, what he wants. I think a bit of biting. He wants he wants Johnny to go in there, absolutely hating him. And trying to trying to throw bombs in back. That could easily backfire if he catches it. And throw bombs in the first round. Good night. And then. Johnny Gas is out in the first round and Gregory just picks him off. Right. Well, that's, that's, that's what I think. I don't well, know. That, that could happen as well, see. Yeah. Because so if Johnny if Johnny goes in there and just throws our right. And I think he will have our mentality, but people have got the people around. No, I've, I've said to Johnny the first time, just take it easy in there. Yeah. Remember, you well, we all have. Yeah. Work on your job. I've yeah. said that to him. I don't know how many work times. Work on his job a bit. I just want him to work on his cardio a bit now over the next two weeks. And um, just take his time and not like go in there, constantly pressure him. Because that's what you need to, to fight somebody like that, Greg. He's a bit more technical. But go in there. Remember, he is, he is got that fighting instinct. He's, mm. he's a fighter. Born, he's, he's a born fighter. Like, and he just needs to go in there. And I think confident. I think he'd be the fan favourite, Johnny, wouldn't he? I've seen on Facebook everyone's seen Johnny, but nobody's seen Gregory Spa. Yeah, and he is he, he is, is good. better than what probably a lot of people yeah. are thinking. Again, people people seem to like what you say with Johnny with street fighting and that. People think. Oh, he's everyone, just going to go there. Everyone knows it's Johnny, a com- it's a completely to... different thing, like street writing and, plus and well, boxing. Yeah, we, plus as well, we're not all sixteen, seventeen anymore. We're, we like Johnny's had kids. He's he's probably been away from he's probably been away from fighting for fucking years. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He, 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 he's you know, not, he's not got that you wouldn't even think you know, about him. He's such a nice boy. He's on a nice boy. He's on a nice boy. You could ever meet like, and I really really hope he does a good job. Like, do you know what I mean? I think, I think the crowd, the crowd, crowd will be buzzing if he, if he gets to win. If he gets the knockout, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd be, I'd be ecstatic. <coughs> no, he's a lovely boy. He's a nice he's boy. Lovely like, boy. But, <coughs> but Gregory's put, he's, 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 he's put a word. Gregory is like a lovable rogue. I, yeah. can't, I can't help but like him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I he's, watch the video and I just laugh. Yeah, I can't help but like him. I can't help but like him. Yeah, exactly. We see it as the joke, do you know what I mean? If I was in Johnny's shoes, I'd probably be a bit like, all right, I'm going to fucking... Yeah. Now. and that's why that's all he's saying. But Gregory now is banned from the training camp. Um, Controversy. So, yeah, we we'll talk about off, off camera, but he won't be training in the gym for the next two weeks leading up the fight night. Right. So he's going to find another gym. Um, do you think that'll help jo- Johnny? Do you think it'll? I don't know. I don't. You give him an advantage. It's a good thing. To keep him separated for these two weeks now. Anyway, do I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't weeks. know if will, will Chris go to the gym or will he just think oh, I'll just turn up on the night now? You know, you know what I mean? <coughs> These last two weeks are probably the most important. Yeah, mm. it, it, it's what it's preference, and it? it depends on confidence <coughs> levels and what you need to. They're both on. very confident. When I when I told I Chris John, yeah. he was matched with Johnny, he's over the moon because he wanted that. He wanted a well, challenge, good, good, Chris, good. and he wanted. He, I think in his head he thinks. The only thing Johnny got is that right hand. Yeah. If he doesn't land that, he, he cannot beat me. Yeah. You know, and I think that's probably probably true. Yeah. Because Johnny's not going to beat him on points. Mm. I don't think. He's so. not going to outbox him. Yeah, he's not going to be throwing lots of. Sh- yeah. That's not- I don't think he's not. He's not going to be. Yeah, I think Greg will be controlling the ring. But you got to remember, in the judges' eyes, when you are when you land in those Heavier significant punches, yeah, yeah. they do they do yeah. they do land on the scar. I just and, think if he, if he's landing those, he's going to knock him out because he's so hard. I know. But know. even on the yeah, gloves, even, yeah, even those yeah. type of punches on the gloves, look, they like look the damaging. Sound, and to the, the, to the judges, I don't know. Ju- I don't know what the judges are like for these uh, events. The, ref, the referee, the referee is. Yeah, and he got another guy in on the bell. Who's if it's a close fight, he'll ask him for a certain opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah ref. But, um, but he's a neutral ref. He's from England, so no, he won't be. Yeah, he, he don't know any of the fighters. Brilliant. Oh, oh, that's great. Then, and yeah, I, th- I, th- I think this should be a, a fight. One of the fight of the nights. Do you know what I mean? Possibly be fighting. I think this so, is the fight I'm so most familiar yeah. to. Fight. Everyone's, fight. everyone's everyone. Well, look, the, the comments on that pit, uh, the post that Johnny put up is up to like 130 odd comments. You know, the banter is flying yeah. back and forth. Loads of people are wanting to come and watch it. Yeah. Um, 
just for that fight. So yeah, it's, it's like Huntle versus like yeah, and yeah, yeah. Is that perfect little thing? He's, that's what I mean. He's a lovable rogue, and he yeah. like Gregory. You just you know, there's gonna be boys who can't wait, can't wait to see him in there because he's so brash. Like yeah. there's other boys who are gonna want to see him get knocked, get knocked out. out. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't see anyone get knocked out. No, no, no. Just, no. I, I just want to see both boys here healthy and safe. Come yeah, coming out there, every boy. But have a there. good, yeah. good hard fight. Yeah, but just enjoy it, isn't it? That's that's what all it's here for. Yeah, yeah. But it's trained for it. I can't, can't say. I am looking forward. To hopefully seeing Johnny get a win, get, like, get, a, get a win, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But the, that's, that's you know, people. Are, that's that's the, that's the sport. That's the love of the sport. I think Gregory will just love if he if he does get a win. He will love the fact that he's proved everyone wrong. That's it. And if he yeah, beats somebody like Johnny, he's got like a big name around this yeah, area. And, yeah. if he, and he could potentially win this fight. Yeah. I mean, he's got the skills, hundred percent. Yeah. And if he goes on and beats somebody like Johnny, that will boost his confidence. And when not, yeah. not only in in sport boxing but in life, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a know, big, it's a massive achievement. It's gonna go, it's gonna go two ways. Yeah. Either Johnny tires out, Aye. and then Chris beats him full second or third round. Yeah. That's or it. Johnny gives a cool head, gets yeah. with the first one, gets the second, knocks and then out. knocks him out in the third. That's it's it. it's gonna go one of those two ways. I'd percent He could stop him in the first. You know, he he could do. Johnny's hard hard in it there. He's a big hitter. Yeah. But it's just whether Chris can avoid that right hand. And I think if he does, he'll probably beat Johnny. But it's intriguing, and it because it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah nobody knows. So 50-50 With the gym thing as well, Johnny can openly talk about his game plan, what he's gonna do, get people to help him, and, and Greg's never gonna see Arnold. Yeah, he can yeah. he can sort that out in the gym. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> no, but uh, yeah, so as we've discussed, boys, there's a lot of close fights. Here. It's gonna be a yeah, lot of things. We were split on them on the pretty much most of them. Yeah, you know, so that shows how close they are. VIP um, seated tickets are sold out. Uh, Stem standing still available. Uh, they're fifteen pounds. Get in touch with any of the fighters or any of the boys on this podcast uh, for tickets. Doors open at five. First fight will be around about six o'clock. Um, suited and booted. No, no jeans. No trainers. Um, yeah, it should be a very enjoyable night. Um, yeah, any final words, boys? Um, bringing Capri Suns is going to be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. There we are. Over and out.